some kind of joke? I've been trick or treated to death tonight. You don't know what death is. What's going on, horror fanatics? Welcome to I Shot Him Six Times YouTube Horror Movie Channel. As you know, I'm your host and creator of the channel, Marcus. And in this video, I will be discussing a recent article from Snopes hinting at a potential Freddy Krueger TV show based on a recent post on Facebook. If you haven't done so already, please shoot this video a like. It definitely helps out with the YouTube algorithm a ton. As well as if you happen to be a new viewer to this channel, please shoot that subscribe button as well as that notification icon so you get all the latest content updates to the channel. As well as if you'd like to become a member here to the channel, shoot over to the channel dashboard and shoot that join button that you see display okay everyone so on march the 7th we got this article from taija perry cook from snopes that is captioned freddy krueger tv series coming october 24 rumors of a 10-part series titled fred went viral on facebook on March 5th, 2024, Facebook account at Yoda Baby published a claim that a new 10-part series titled Fred, based on a classic 1984 horror movie, A Nightmare on Elm Street, would be available for streaming on Max in October of 2024. According to the poster, actor DJ Qualls would be starring and the series would be directed by Rob Zombie. The full caption for the Facebook read, Fred series on Max dash Rob Zombie exclamation points. Get ready for a chilling journey into the origins of terror with Fred, a gripping 10 episode event on Max streaming service this October, starring DJ Qualls as the titular character himself, witness the transformation of Fred Krueger from evil man into nightmare slasher in this West Craven Studios production, directed by Rob Zombie in his television series debut, brace yourself for an unforgettable descent into darkness. All right, y'all, so this is the image that was posted on Yoda Baby's account, but this is fan-made. It is fake. There is no Freddy Krueger TV show being directed by Rob Zombie. That is coming out in October. If this was ever to be true, we would have heard about this a long time ago because this would obviously be big news. This user behind the account confirmed it's not real, and they have multiple fan-made posters and concepts on their page just for satire. I don't know if they used AI and merged Freddy's face with DJ Quarrel's face here for this image, or if this is someone else in the Freddy Krueger makeup from another concept art for the character, but it does look solid, and though it is fake, it sparks up an interesting conversation. Now, I personally would not want to see Rob Zombie do a Nightmare on Elm Street themed TV show or a movie. I think most fans wouldn't, given what we've seen him do with another horror icon in Michael Myers. Though some fans did enjoy those movies, most diehard fans of the franchise dismiss his versions, being they felt him exploring and giving reasons as to why Michael is a killer, took away from the mystique and mysterious nature of the character, on top of those films being aggressively brutal, something that the Halloween franchise or the Michael Myers character wasn't known for. I think if Rob ever wanted to dip his toes into the Freddy Krueger universe, he would run into similar issues with the Freddy Krueger character in terms of keeping what makes the character special intact, as the only thing about Rob's style that translates to Freddy is the gritty, dark, explicit nature in his dialogue while speaking. Outside of that, nothing we've seen in Rob Zombie's films translate to Freddy Krueger or the Nightmare on Elm Street movies, whose movies require fantasy-esque visual effects, being that Freddy is a dream demon. Rob Zombie's films are more grunge and grindhouse type that hardly require any of those type of visual effects, if any at all from what I can recall. The only horror icon I feel Rob would be perfect for is Leatherface, given the gritty grindhouse nature of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre films. Now, when it comes to DJ Qualls, I'm not saying it would be a bad idea for him to portray Freddy Krueger. He is only 45 years old. He does kind of have that look in the frame of what the character would look like. Fans have expressed wanting to see an actor who is at least 40 to 50 take on the role so that we can get multiple films as opposed to just one last one from Krueger icon Robert England, who has made it clear that he will not reprise the role in a full-time capacity. Qualls' credits consist mostly of comedy films such as Road Trip and The New Guy, both considered to be classic comedies from the early 2000s, but he also portrayed Wally in a Brittany Murphy-led slasher, Cherry Falls, back in 1999, so he does have some familiarity with the horror genre. Now, does that mean he would be a great choice to don the iconic glove and portray Freddy Krueger? I would say yes, but I would mostly lean towards no. The yes part of it is that he does have the look and the build of the iconic slasher based on appearance, 
but the no end of it would be the fact that he's mostly done comedy films as a supporting actor. New Guy was the only film that I've seen him in as the lead, and I don't know how serious he would come off playing the role of Freddy Krueger, and the lack of experience in the horror genre overall is why I would lean towards no. But I'd have to say the biggest reason why I think having DJ Quarles portray the role as Freddy Krueger would not be effective and wouldn't work, and this is no offense to him, but the reason why it wouldn't work in my opinion is because he's not a big enough draw to attract audiences to come see him portray the role as Freddy in a TV show format or a film. Studios wouldn't bring him back an iconic IP, mostly attempt to cast A-list or at the very least, notable stars who are on the brink of the top tier to maximize promotion in order to make the most money possible, which is why I think Kevin Bacon or Matt Matthew Lillard would be better choices for the role as Freddy Krueger in a new project. Because not only do I think both would thrive in the role, but most importantly, they both have more experience in the horror genre and are bigger names in the genre and in film as a whole. That would no doubt create a lot of buzz and draw the type of attention the studio would be looking for. I would love to see Dave McRae get a shot at portraying the role as Freddy Krueger in a big screen IP or a TV show format. McRae portrayed the iconic slasher in Cecil Lair's direct sequel fan film to Wes Craven's new nightmare titled Dylan's New Nightmare, starring Miko Hughes reprising his role as Dylan Porter. McRae absolutely shined in the role, in my opinion, as Freddy, and is a well-known YouTuber and voice actor and independent filmmaker, so he is also in play, in my opinion, but again, it is hard to see the studio wanting an actor to play Freddy Krueger who isn't already an established mainstream entity, but I could stand corrected. We would just have to wait and see. One way or another, it's not a matter of if, but more of a matter of when will the Freddy Krueger character make a return to the big screen or via TV format. As in late 2019, it was reported West Craven Estates were listening to pitches for a future project featuring the iconic slasher. But okay everyone, that is it for this video. Leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know your thoughts on this fan-made concept for A Nightmare on Elm Street. Would you like to see Rob Zombie take a crack at directing A Nightmare on Elm Street show or movie? Would DJ Qualls be a suitable choice to play Freddy Krueger if the concept turned into reality? And let me know if you think we will get any official news regarding Freddy Krueger's return before 2024 ends. Once again, this is I Shot Him Six Times YouTube Horror Movie Channel. I'm your host and creator of the channel, Marcus. Be sure to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Patreon, and TikTok. Thank you all for watching.